Seven Signs You're Emotionally Healthy Emotional health is complex and multifaceted. And like your IQ score, which is fairly stable, anyone can become more emotionally healthy. Therefore, we're not trying to cast a negative light on emotionally unhealthy people. Almost everyone's emotional health is a constant work in progress. Instead, we're hoping to incite self-reflection and higher awareness about your personal struggles with emotional health. How emotionally healthy would you deem yourself? Be critical and honest with yourself as you watch this video. Just don't beat yourself up over it. One, you're in touch with emotions. If you can't identify your own emotions, then you won't be able to identify how to manage them. Know how you feel, name it, acknowledge it without becoming overwhelmed. That way, if you were to get upset with your partner, you'd be able to verbalize your feelings to your partner appropriately. Two, you rebound from failure. Failure is an unavoidable part of life. It makes our goals seem out of reach and our negative self-talk goes off the hook. Emotionally healthy people ignore the you-can't-do-it gut reaction and stop the negative self-talk. Instead, they look at what they're in control of, reevaluate the situation, and put in more effort. This helps them to plan better and try different approaches in the future. 3. You believe there's a reason for everything. The most emotionally healthy people draw meaning from the traumatic events that occur in their lives. In other words, while they're grieving, they're also simultaneously adapting and searching for ways to recognize not only what they lost, but also what they can gain. 4. You like yourself. Learn to like yourself even in the worst moments. Avoid the self-criticism and negative thoughts. Stop kicking yourself when you're already down. Exercise self-compassion. What would you say to a friend that was dealing with whatever issue you're facing? Be encouraging and supportive and feel good about who you are. Learn to see yourself through the eyes of the people who truly love you. Five, you see the big picture. Realize that every action has a reaction as well as consequences. Taking time to pause and consider how your actions are going to affect you in the present and future is a telling sign of emotional health. Six, you're resilient. Develop a realistic plan or strategy that will carry you through the inevitable hard times. Also, develop the right kind of self-talk, the kind that allows you to maintain a positive view of yourself. Have confidence in your inner strength and abilities. 7. You're a skilled communicator. Learn to communicate clearly, but also listen with the intent to hear and see the other side. Don't simply rehearse what you're going to say while the other person's speaking. When disagreements arise, focus on problem solving rather than fault finding. If things don't go your way, be thoughtful when expressing your feelings. Don't pout or throw a tantrum while expecting the other person to figure it out. Emotionally healthy people form solid connections with family members and friends. During hard times, accept help and support from your loved ones and listen with the intent to genuinely understand the other side. Have a willingness to learn and grow through each experience in your life. Look for opportunities for self-discovery and maintain an optimistic outlook. Remember, the most important thing you can do for your emotional health is show yourself some compassion. Tenderly nurture your feelings and needs. Make time to engage in activities that you find relaxing. Exercise on a regular basis. When you're physically and emotionally strong, the world becomes smaller and conquerable. You're going to be happy, said life. But first, I'll make you strong. What are some of your strategies for coping with life's hardships? Care to share? Please do so in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more content from Psych2Go. Thanks for watching.